Busy restaurant, hardly the place for this. getting hurt today. Yeah, maybe. Or maybe not. Look, I called you. I didn't have to, but I did. I'm not looking for any trouble. I'm just tired of fighting. Yeah, well, that's what you said on the phone, so why'd you call me? Why don't you turn yourself into some safe surrender house nearby? Because you deserve more than that. Damn straight. Now. Let's go now. Trevor, you want to go to Tristan's party or not? Get up. Trevor, get up. Excuse me. Yes. Why don't you listen to your mama, Trevor, and stand up like a big boy? Can you do that? I'm so sorry. Thank you. Let's go. Let's go. So tell me exactly what is it you plan on doing with that thing? My job. Your job. Justice. My job is dispensing justice. Well, unless I heard wrong, that hasn't been your job in a long time. Oh, you heard wrong. Vengeance is mine. I will repay, says the Lord. Look like you guys are both here now. Hi, my name is Kaylee. I'll be your server today. What can I get started for you? A uh, glass of water, please. You got it. And um, if you change your mind, let me know. You got a lot of nerve saying that. You're right. I do. But I was wrong for what I did. Ain't hindsight grand? And change the thing. How was I supposed to know? You weren't supposed to know. That was the point. He was very careful to make sure no one knew he was a cop. If they'd have found out, they'd have killed him. My father, he dedicated his life to the law. I, I didn't know the cop. I didn't know the cop from the law, much less your father being undercover. All that I knew was there was a story about missing girls, and I was going to say, Nobody's good. Not you. And not you. I know you're not. And that's why I'm here. You really think you're better than me? Yes. Yes, I killed a man. I took the law into my own hands. And I murdered someone. But look at you. You cannot wait to pull that trigger. And the evil in your eyes is just as bad as what I did. Wow. You've become quite the preacher. You ever even read a Bible? Till recently, no. <laughs> Let me guess. Heavens open up, God came down, he blessed you, and he forgave you all your sins. In so many words, yes. But it wasn't with the heavens opening up. Mine came more in the form of an old man down in Baja who just, who just bugged me and followed me around every day with a bag of Bibles, just buttoning his nose in my business until I bought one. about you? You ever read a Bible? Not since I lost my badge.
What do you know about Mercy? I know I don't deserve it. But God being rich in mercy because of the great love with which he loved us. Even when we were dead in our trespasses, made us alive together in Christ. By grace, you have been saved. I, I hated what I thought I saw in your father out there infecting the world. But then when God opened up my eyes, so I could see me the way he did, a sinner out there infecting the world. I cried out for mercy and he gave it to me. I'm asking for your mercy now. I'm not a marshal anymore. Here's your water. Have you changed your mind, sir? I didn't go to the police. I didn't go to no safe house. Because what I had to do, I had to do face to face with you. I wronged you. I hurt you. And I did a wicked thing. And I'm very sorry. But I'm sitting here man to man asking you for forgiveness. After all these years of chasing you, God, God did what the law couldn't do. Amen. Pursuing justice my whole life. Perhaps to the neglect, the mercy that I have received. Everything okay? Thank you.